Hi, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Pot Cocktails. I'm Ken. Behind the camera is Giselle. And Mr. Blue Sky has returned after a week of rain. So uh, we have opened up the Tiki Bar. Now, Ernest, I know you wanted a Mai Tai, uh, but there was a request that came in just before yours, so I'm going to honor that request first. The Tiki Bar will be open again next weekend, and we will be doing Mai Tais, I promise. So, Carol, this week we're going to do your request, and that was for a Navy Grog. Now, the Navy Grog was a popular uh, tiki drink back in the 40s and the 50s, uh, best known in, in an open competition, I guess you could say, between Don the Beachcomber and Trader Vic's. Each had their own little spin on the uh, ancient British Navy uh, drink. I don't think ancient is the right word, but uh, both include uh, three different rums. Uh, some juices, and um, <laughs> and it has one hell of a kick. Uh, in our lab testing, we did a little bit of adjustment to the, the recipes that we found, and I think we got something that everybody can entertain. So let's just get right to it. And um, here we go. Giselle, let's see if I can pronounce this right this time. Damara. Demarara. Demarara. Demarara rum is produced in Guyana. Uh, because of the the uh, the, the region's uh, climate and the rivers and the water, uh, it has a very unique uh, flavor and, and aging process there. So we're going to start off with a half a cup of Demerara. Add that into our coffee pot, which this time around we have added some ice up front because we want to make sure we keep this nice and chilled. Uh, for our taste buds. Uh, rum seems to go down even faster when it's cold. Uh, I got some Appleton Reserve that we're going to add in there. Uh, kind of like a, uh, it's a darker, darker rum. Uh, some people prefer using Myers. We're going with uh, Appleton Reserve. It's another half cup going in there. And the old standby Bacardi. We have a half cup of Bacardi that is going in there as well. So as you can see right off the bat, we, we have a cup and a half of rum that is in this cocktail. And as I'm pouring and, and finishing up, I'm just setting it on the floor. Uh, because depending on how many of these I have today, that's maybe where I'm next. Who knows? <laughs> uh, lime juice. Uh, we're going to start with our juices now. We're going to go with a third cup of lime. that in there. We're going with a third of a cup of grapefruit juice. Now Don the Beachcomber uh, kind of prefer white grapefruit juice. I could not find white, white grapefruit juice or white grapefruits that matter. Uh, I didn't look very hard but uh, by going to multiple stores that is but I will tell you, Tina, if you decide that you don't want grapefruit juice, it does not really uh, take away from the cocktail itself. Now, uh, before I think the last thing I add in here before we, uh, we actually start a little pouring is honey syrup. Now, if you're familiar, simple syrup is equal parts of uh, sugar and water. Honey syrup is basically equal parts of uh, honey and water. So we're going to add that two cups in there. Now remember, we've already added in a couple, a couple, a cup and a half of a rum in there as well. So we're going to shake, uh, stir this up as opposed to shake. And we've had our glasses off on the side chilling. Going to put those right there. Now you typically would want to strain off any of the ice that's in there since we're dealing with a coffee pot. We pretty much do have a strainer built in. So we're going to do a little there. From there, I'll uh, put a little bit more in here. Never hurts to top it off a tad. Uh, that's true. That's true. I will tell you that um, whenever I think of tiki bars, I do I do tend to think about Giselle's dad. Uh, we're going to top off with just a little bit of seltzer in there, just to add in a little bit of fizz. 
we don't want to water on to water down that rum by any means. I do think of Giselle's dad when I think of Tiki. Uh, her dad's favorite uh, song in the world, as most family members or all family members know, was uh, "Tiny Bubbles," and that uh, song uh, kind of kind of went. Uh, what is that? How's that go? Uh, Tiny bubbles in the wine make me happy make me feel fine love that song uh you could hear him singing that many times during the day night anytime he was having a good time and uh, we're having a good time today in his obviously his honor so that pretty much is it uh for the cocktail i will close you with this so here is to the golden moon here is to the silver sea and mostly, here's a toast to you and me. Be safe out there. Take care.